even as time passes. What happened inside this resort earlier this month forced John Alvino to stop. One word to describe it would be frightening. Alvino is the business manager for the Sheet Metal Workers Local 9. Many of the people he represents work in the HVAC world every day and are struggling to understand oh my God. how this could happen. If there was a deficiency in either the design, engineering, installation of any of this, I think it's important to know that because we would want to make sure both from a public safety perspective that these things don't happen again and also from an industry perspective, if it's a deficiency that overall needs to be fixed, we would want to know about that. That's why Alvino, along with the rest of the union, sent a letter to Aurora City leaders calling for an independent investigation into the collapse. 100 percent. That's what we want here, accountability. A day after after the collapse, Gaylord released a statement saying they will conduct their own investigation, but the union worries it won't be transparent enough. They're going to be under their hire, so um, our concern is uh, how, how, how do we know that we're getting all the information to the actual root cause of this accident? Alvino says they'll continue to move forward, asking for answers to make sure what happened that day is more than a cautionary tale. And that, again, is in the interest of public safety. We reached out to the Gaylord Rockies as well as the Marriott for a comment we have yet to hear back. In response to the union's letter, a spokesperson with the city of Aurora says they can't comment because they don't have the authority to look into the incident. It is strictly the property owner's responsibility to conduct an investigation. We should mention RK Mechanical, one of the contractors that we do know worked on the Gaylord, is not part of this sheet metal union. Kim? Uh, actually, I'll take it here, but it's interesting to me, Jalee said that Nobody seems to have oversight on this, but also I would think there's there's a PR problem here for Gaylord, etc., in that they're not being very forthcoming with what did happen. They might be well served to provide some answers. I mean, I think that's what everyone is looking for right now, right? The last time we heard from this facility was the day after the incident. And let me tell you, we have been reaching out pretty regularly like to them to figure out if we do have some answers in this situation. And I think the biggest goal the union has is that they want that investigator, that independent investigator to come in before this pool reopens, right? Before all the evidence goes away. They want to make sure that there is accountability here. Yeah, there are answers that people want. We'll see if we get them. All right, thank you, Jalisa.